Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here, and we are doing another Amonkhet Intermediate Swiss Draft League. Okay, pull from tomorrow, Baleful Amet, cast out, probably going to be the cast out. Removal for practically anything, or cycling. Nice little combination of abilities there. Uh, I love Baleful Amet, this card is so good. Really is a big tide turner. And pull from tomorrow can be a huge card advantage. It's also worth about a ticket and some change, but we'll start it off with cast out. Okay, so reasonable follow-up pick. What's the best card in the pack? Mm, maybe Takrop Elite, which is a certainly fine follow-up pick. I think Scattered Groves is probably worth a ticket. It is indeed. It's also hieroglyphic illumination in here, but I'm fine taking the elite. This card is pretty reasonable. And, yeah, there's nothing else insanely good in here that I can see. I don't think. Okay, so now there's Binding Mummy. Good for the black-white zombie deck. Best card in the pack is probably, hmm, pretty weak pack overall. I mean, it could just take the mummy. Mummy's not particularly exciting outside of a zombie build, but certainly good in a zombie deck. Otherwise, it's like a wandering death or maybe like a thresher lizard. We'll take the mummy for now. We'll get a grizzly bear. That's on color. Oh my gosh. Decimator Beetle, fourth pick. I kind of just need to take this card now. It's also a Gus Walker in here. Well, it's still early enough where if I'm getting past the Decimator Beetle, I should really just be taking and playing this card. It's so good. You just get to kill things when you attack with it. It's really good. Gus Walker is really good too, though. It's still early enough, though, where I can take Decimator Beetle and not feel bad about it, but I could also try and get as many Gus Walkers as I can. Uh, mm. All right. Taking it over a better card here. So now there's Avon Wind Guide, Quarry Hauler, Wayward Servant. Hmm. Okay. Curse Minotaur. We could take the Servant. It's pretty cool for the zombie deck. I mean, we already have a couple less zombies there. And Wind Guide is pretty decent. We'll take the Servant. See if a zombie deck comes together. All right, well, getting the Curse Minotaur. It's also a Ketra's Monument. That one's not that good. And then a Sacred Cat, which technically is a zombie card too. We'll take the Minotaur. So, Cartouche, Shed Weakness, some fairly late green and red cards that are okay. Painted bluffs. Um, we can take the cartouche. Maybe a red or a uh, yeah, red white deck can come together too. So here's a sparring mummy. There's also time to reflect. Which I assume is pretty good if you end up in black white zombies. We already have three. Sparring Mummy is pretty mediocre. Blighted Bat's also a zombie, and it flies. But I haven't played with Time to Reflect before. It seems like it'd be pretty good if you end up in the zombie deck. One mana kill spell. So now there's Supply Caravan, Bantu's Monument. Yeah, these cards are all pretty unexciting. Hmm. I 
Guess I'll take the caravan. So another caravan, a dune beetle, some late green cards. Take the caravan. Hyena pack, some more late green. Maybe just take the spider. Could take the hyena pack. Neither of which are very exciting. Spider's probably better. Cradle of the Accursed does make a zombie. Take the white card. Hmm. Whatever. So, a reasonable chance to build the zombie deck currently have one two three four like zombie related oh well make that five yeah Liliana's Mastery is a great pickup for that deck too it's more incentive to go down that path now so yeah Liliana's Mastery over Trial which would be good another Mummy Bat Scorpion Spear Master if we wheel any of those I'm pretty happy but we're definitely happy taking the the mastery here. It's also, I think, worth a ticket, too. Okay. So now we have uh, True Heart Duelist, but I think we're probably just going to take start to finish. Makes creatures and you can kill things with it. It's pretty awesome. Sacred Cat, Festering Mummy, Duelist, Initiate are all technically playable in the zombie deck because they have Embalm. But start to finish, it's very versatile. I like the kind of value you get off of cards like this. So Vizier can do into the battlefield effects, which I guess is good with... Well, it's pretty cool with, like, Gustwalker. If you exert, you get it back. It's cool with, like, Wayward Servant and Binding Mummy. And even Takrop Elite. That's not bad. Otherwise, there's Jeru's Resolve. Evolving Wilds. We'll take the Vizier. I actually haven't played this card yet. I think Jeru's Resolve is actually better than it looks. But I'll consider the Vizier. I haven't played with this. Another Vizier. Prowling Serpapard. We could take the monument that makes warriors. It's good with like Takrop Elite, I guess. Uh, Vizier of Remedies, just like a two drop. It doesn't synergize with anything we have currently. Could take the Sparring Mummy. It's another zombie. It's kind of an unexciting one. The monument just spits out one ones, which isn't bad, but I feel like. I don't know how many 1-1s one you end up getting in a game on average if you play that on turn 3. Probably only maybe 3 or something. Could take the Wander in Death as well. We have the zombie-related stuff, though, so I may just have to take the Sparring Mummy to maximize the amount of zombies we get in our deck. Alright. Because, I mean, I don't really want to run Double Supply Caravan. Okay, so I'm going to take Splendid Agony over those who serve and Sparring Mummy. Because it's just a good combat trick removal spell. Yeah, I mean, I prefer to not play the supply caravans. If possible. And even the vizier. Embalmer's tools. Eh. Ruthless sniper, same sort of thing. We don't really have much in terms of synergy for it. But there's painful lesson, which I could actually take here. You can kill opponents with it, which is good for aggro or card advantage in a pinch when you need it, which isn't bad. So now there's Evolving Wilds for mana fixing, or Winged Shepherd, Cycler, Flying Finisher. I guess we'll take the Shepherd. Faith, well... Not a faith deck, though. So Mighty Leap versus Spearmaster. Spearmaster is a good aggressive card, I think. 
still short on the actual zombie cards, but we'll figure it out. There we go. Here's a zombie, so we'll take Blighted Bat now. Guess we don't need any of these. Uh, Kopesh will take over Dune Beetle. We're not going to play Dune Beetle, I don't think. So current amount of zombies, we have one, two, three, four, five, six zombie related cards. So we need like three more. This is also a creature card, the start to finish. So we have decent removal now for pretty much anything. It was cast out and start to finish, so that's cool. Time to reflect too. Definitely taking the Forsake the Worldly. It's main deckable, but more li it's more like a sideboard card. But the fact they can hit enchantments is totally relevant. Getting to those who serve is nice, actually. It's a zombie. So, seven zombie cards in our deck right now, which is good. Still not sure if I want to do even try the Vizier uh, of Deferment. I can consider it, but... Curator of Mysteries... Oh, that card's sweet. Is that worth anything? Probably not, right? One cent. One whole cent. So here's Devoted Crop Mate. This is pretty cool. We do have some two drops to return. But we might just want another Cursed Manitar. It's a good beatdown zombie. Taking it over Top Crop Elite. It's also impeccable timing. But I want to get more zombies here. The menace on this is not to be overlooked. Current removal is what? Time to reflect. Splendid Agony. Start to finish. Cast out. So yeah. I, I think I'm going to take the Minotaur over the Impeccable Timing. Just because I kind of want to curve out zombie related cards as best that we can. And cut cards like Vizier of Deferment. Alright. Neheb. So, we can take the impeccable timing now. We can take the mummy. It is technically a zombie. I guess if we're beat down zombie, we can take the mummy. Might be able to wheel it. In which case, then I can take the impeccable timing, but... Yeah, I guess we only need... Just like three more creatures... No, not even. Two more creatures. This is a creature. This is a creature. So we currently have like 14. Alright, I'll take the impeccable timing. We'll see if we can't wheel a mummy. Soul Stinger's good too, but I don't mind getting cheap removal. So there's Splendid Agony. Sacred Cat. Once again, technically a zombie card. I'm going to take the Agony. I think we're going to either wheel or find enough dudes here. So there's those who serve, but Inoketra's name is pretty good for a zombie deck. Once again, I know that we're going to need some more zombies, but I'm hopeful that we can find a couple more or wheel some. Like, there's those who serve, so we'll take it over a resolve and a faith of the devoted. So we can take another Spearmaster. Not going to play Seraph of the Suns. Not going to need Dune Beetle or Painful Lesson. Okay, Spearmaster. Ooh, there's a huge pickup for us. Stir of the Sands is amazing. In the same deck as Liliana's Mastery for sure. Alright, so Deferment's gone. There's another Blighted Bat. So we got everything we needed. I'm going to get rid of the Kopesh too. This pretty easily looks like a 16 land deck, I think. We'll take the bat. We could cut the painful lesson. I'm okay with that, actually. Everything else seems fine. So this is like a 16 creature deck. Another Takrop Elite would be good, actually. I like the card. 
or a mighty leap. Oh, we can get rid of Forsake the World Lay for sure. Okay. Takrop Elite. Okay. Sniper is cool, but we'll take the mummy. It's also a zombie. I'll take the on color card. Otherwise, I could play 17 with Cradle of the Accursed. Cradle has right, another of those who serve. Didn't get any Lord of the Accursed, I guess. But actually, I guess we'll take the foil land. I'm not going to pay Faith of the Devoted. Just so used to taking it. Okay. So we've got some cool stuff in here, actually. And we only have to make a couple cuts. So this is a creature, this is a creature, this is a creature. So we can definitely afford to cut two creatures and be just fine. So maybe it's Winged Shepherd gets cut because we don't need it. We have a ton of zombies now. I could cut like a Spearmaster... Although I do like this offensively. But I do want to keep with my zombie theme here. Because we actually have some... We have quite a few zombie synergies now, I guess. Wayward Servant, Binding Mummy. Liliana's Mastery, Time to Reflect, in a catcher's name. So we do have zombie-related cards in here. How many zombies do I have, I guess? One, two, three... 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 zombie cards. That's a lot. I could actually afford to cut a shepherd and like a those who serve, keep my spear masters and still have plenty of zombies. And that lowers the curve of the deck a little bit too. Because we do have a lot of three drops. Like I said, I could actually cut could cut one more creature. I could still cut like a, a those who serve, run 17 lands, but one of them's Cradle of the Accursed. That way I'm not worried about getting to Stir the Sands or Liliana's Mastery mana. And I can still technically use my land to get a 2-2 two -two zombie if I have to. So if I cut these three, we're still left with 16 creature cards. 17, actually. Start to finish, Stir the Sands Mastery. So we have 17 creatures. Plenty of removal. I might just do this. Run the Cradle. And then go 8-8. Which they agree with. Okay. Yeah, this looks like a fine zombie deck to me. This has everything you need. And we still have plenty of zombie cards and zombie synergies. It looks like a fun deck. I can get behind this. Do I want to try and fit in the painful lesson? I don't know what I'd run that one over, though. I already cut a couple of my those who serve just because they're not the best beatdown cards. Like Spearmaster definitely works better to beat down. Four power, first strike. Okay. Yeah, this is this is reasonable. Black white zombies, we'll see round one.